Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today our video is a little bit different. I thought it would be fun to give you guys some steps on how to write a children's book. So if you're interested in this type of video, give us a like, a thumbs up. Wait, like and thumbs up is the same thing. Please give us a like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, let's get right into it. Okay. Birds. Okay, so for my first step, I like to write down a list. So for me, this is kind of the most important part. This is kind of what gets the ball rolling when it comes to writing and works for me so I don't get like that writer's block because once I go blank, it takes me forever to like know what I want to write about or what I want to put into the book. I write down the description of the characters, what I want to write about, the emotion behind what I'm talking about, um, key, just basically keywords that'll help me out with the writing process later on. So writing down a list is my number one step. Number two is to figure out your audience. My audience is usually from three to six. I know that my stories will have more of an engagement with a three-year-old, a four-year-old, five-year-old, and a six-year-old just because I feel like at that age they are more interested in what you have to say and what they're being read about instead of like from ages one to three I feel like they're more interested in maybe colorful things and visual things and I like to yeah I like to choose that as my category do I only sell books for three to six year olds no when it's a children's book It'll be in the children's book section at the library. But I'm saying more of ages when you're gonna sell on Amazon like I do. They give you that option of who are you, who's your audience. So I didn't know that before. So I would put, I remember I had this one categorized as infant to four. And when I started reading the book to my preschoolers, I noticed that at the end of the story they would kind of like days off or they weren't too interested in it and I know that Callie even though I made the book for her before um, she was born she didn't really know much about it until yeah until like recent years I think by the age of five I got her to really like sit down and listen to the entire book that was an important um, detail that I learned along the way so I put that as my step number two number three Create a proof copy of your story. Writing your story over and over again and reading it over and over again can help you with new ideas or can help you tweak some old ideas. So a proof copy is, is really important. Step number four, break down your story and organize them by pages. When you're illustrating the book, this will be a key step for you. Um, it will help you draw the scenarios of what's going on in your story. For example, Ivory woke up on a beautiful spring day. That would be on the first page. So you already know that Ivory being the snowflake, you had to illustrate her waking up on a beautiful spring day. If I would have written a paragraph on a page, then it would have been really hard for me to describe in visual form. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm trying here. <laughs> Step number five is draw your characters individually. Now, the reason that I draw them individually is because that helps me. Um, just in case I want to further along make a book about that specific character instead of making a book about like a sequel to the book that I just wrote, I like to use them as kind of a guide in case I want to write a book about that specific character like further along. I like to draw them alone and usually just smiling. Kind of like a self a portrait of each character. This is Ivory. If in a couple of years I want to just draw, write a book about Ivory, I could just take this page out instead of going off of an illustration like that where you can't really see her or you know it's not just about her, it's, there's a tree there, there's more things to look at around her. Kind of like this. This is Savory. This, she's in the book and she's gotten a lot of like popular feedback so um, I know that eventually I'm going to want to write a book just about her just because people have told me that they really like this character. So 
I thought it would be fun to write a book about her. And if I didn't have her like this, she would just be in the book and I would probably forget about her. Number six is illustrate your pages according to the sentence on the page. That's why I tell you guys to break your, your story into sentences because again, that'll help you illustrate the page and the description of what you want to write about in on that page. So yeah, so those are six first steps that I have to writing my book. To self-publish my book, I use KDP on Amazon. Um, they restrict you from a lot of things, but I think it's the most, the cheapest uh, way of creating your own book. And they do have a guide for you to go off of. So me being a first timer and writing my books and wanting to self-publish, this was the first option that I had. But there are whole ways to publish a book online, and but they're a little bit more complicated. In my case, I just chose this one. It's simple and... Well, it's not that simple. They do have some restrictions. They have some measurement restrictions, page restrictions, uh, language restrictions, and I think that they take three days to approve your book. So if you, they don't approve them in that, those three days, you have to go back, fix it, and then another three days to, for them to approve it again. So it's a process and it takes a while, but um, but it's worth it. I mean, I love I love writing books and I love I love doing these projects and the outcome is really good because when the kids read your book and they remember certain scenes about your book or they, re they remember characters about your book, like it's, it's, worth, it's worth the wait, it's worth the process. So if you guys are looking into it, I highly recommend to start doing it, just start brainstorming, writing things down. If you guys have any questions, comment below. Uh, I know that I'm a little bit all over the place, but this is the first time I'm doing a video like this. so. Is bear with process. So if you guys want a video on how to digitalize or how to draw animations or how to draw expressions on your cartoons or anything like that or just like maybe cartoons for beginners or something like that comment below and I'll make some videos about that. Um, also if you guys are interested in self-publishing and don't know how to start I can also give you guys kind of a basic introduction to that. Yep. So those are my six basic steps on how to write a children's book. I hope you guys, I hope I wasn't all over the place. <laughs> oh, if you don't have my book already, you can buy it on Amazon. I'm gonna link it below. I have it in Spanish and, well, this is English and in Spanish. No, I was explaining to them how to write a book. I wanna learn how to write a book too. Well, then you have to watch my video. Love you guys. Don't forget to. Subscribe. Subscribe. Come and hit that like button. Ooh. And subscribe and hit that like button. <laughs> and comment. And comment. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Comment below. <laughs> thumbs up. Did I scare you? A little bit. <laughs>